How to make a play and study app. So let us go to code.org window. So we have come to app lab. So let's start. First we have go to design. We have to click on ID screen one and change it as main screen. Then we have to click on the arrow and take a new screen. Then we have to change the ID as play screen. Then we have to take one more new screen and name it as study screen. Then we have to go on main screen. Click on the arrow and click on it. Then we have to take two buttons. Place one on the top and place one on the bottom. Then make the first button as study. Hit capital. Then just assume the ID as button study or study button, whatever you can. Then you have to make the width and height. You have to make the width as 175 and height also as 175. Then you have to place it in front and then change the background color to whatever you see that. Then we have to change the font size and then you have to click on the second button and move it as button play or play button. Then we will change the text and name it as text. Then we change the width and height. Then we have to change the back of color and the font. He will now play the form size and touch. Then we will go to the bell and click on the arrow and then go to the page. Then we will have to go to the page. We have to take our ABC label and name it as O. Then we will name the ID as label score or school labels. Then we will change the height to 20. We we'll change the width as 82 and the height as 20. Then we will take one more ABC label and uh, place it the, uh, side, beside school and name it as label blank label or label blank. We we'll change the text and remove it and we we'll don't need to change the width as 95 and the height as 50. Then we will take a button and place it in the middle. We will change the button as button cube or cube button. And we will leave the text black. 
Di Vincenzo with a high castle. And then we'll change the background color. If you want, you can take all the music. So now we will go to the study field. Then we have to take three buttons and place it at the bottom. We will take the first button and name it as button start or start button. And the test will be start with capital U. And the ID will be button start or start button. Then we will change the width as 95. Because it will not fit in. Then we will change the background color as whatever we feel like. Then we will click on the second button and we will change it as reset button or button reset and change it to text as reset with capital and the idea is. Then we will change the high, uh, height with as 95 at the color. Every width will be 95 and height will be 40. Then we will click on the third one. We will name it as top button. And the text will be stored with capital. The width will be 95. And then we will change the background color. We will change the Y position as 3 in five then we will take our ABC loop and place it at the top we will name it as table black And we'll change the text as nothing. Then we'll increase the uh, width as 300. We'll change it over here. We'll make it size. And we'll change the height as 175. Then we'll take one more ABC. And place it at the top. Then we will name it as study timer and the id will be and the id will be timer study so we will change we will take it in the middle now we have to go to and so we will change your label blank to label blank 2 because in play screen we have created a label blank so now we will go to code we will take a set screen now we will go to ui control and take a set screen then we will name it as means then we will take an on event option Then we will change the ID as play button. Then we will take a set screen. And 
an. Nehme das Blech. Then we will take off var. Uh, then we will go to variables and take off var. Uh, var x equals to zero. Then we will take an uneven button. You like it. And name it as button Q. Then we will take a set property. Then we will change the ID as button Q. Then we will take we will change the width as background color. We will take a RGD option in UI controls. Then we will take a random number in math and place it in zero. Then we will take one more random number and place it in zero. Then we will change the first random number as zero and the second as 255 and the second random number as zero and two. 55 same. Then we will leave the 75 and 0 0.5 option as it is. Then we will go to UI controls and take a set position. And change it as button Q. Then we will take a random number in math. Two random numbers and place it instead of zero. We will change the first as 40 and the second one as 280. Then the next one has 70 and the second one has 400 and change the uh, 200 as 40 each then we will take a var x is equals to x plus 1 Then we will go to math and take up this option. And name it as x plus 1. Then we will take a set number. And UI control. And name it as label black. And then we'll change the view as X. Then we'll take our own event and place it in 12, position 12. Then we will click on study, study button.
then we will take our set screen. And name it as study Then, then we'll go to variable and take a variable r is equal to z. Now, we go to UI control and take a set. Then we will name it as main screen. Then we will take an on event option. Then we will change the ID as paper. Then we will take our set screen. And name it as flesh then we will take a var uh, by, uh, then we will go to variables and take a var, uh, var x equals to 0 Then we will take an on event button in UI code. And name it as button Q. Then we will take a set property. Then we will change the ID as button Q. Then we will take we will change the width as background color. We will take a RGD option in UI controls. Then we will take a random number in math and place it in zero. Then we will take one more random number and place it in zero. Then we will change the first random number as zero and the second as 255 and the second random number as zero and two. 55 same then we will leave the 75 and 0 0.5 option as it is then we will go to UI controls and take a set position and change it as button Q then we will take a random number in math two random numbers and place it instead of zero we will change the first as 40 and the second one as 280 then the next one has 70 and the second one has 400 and change the uh, 200 as 40 each okay. 
then we will take over x is equal to x plus 1. Then we will go to math and take over. Name it as X plus one. Then we will take out set number in UI confuse and name it as label black. And then we'll change the view as X. Then we'll take our own event and place it in dual position dual. Then we will click on study study button. Then we will take our set screen. And name it as study screen. Then then we will go to variables and take a variable r is equals to 0. Instead of the time loop, in the blank we have to name it as 1000 in the 21. We will now Take 24 and 25 block in set property and set number inside the time. We have to take the block 20, 27 and 30 or in line 9. So then we will go to design and set field in study then we will click on the middle of it and change the font size as 110. Then we will and then we'll change the text arrangement as center. Then we will rename the project as play and study as. Then we'll run and check if it is working. Then we'll click on start. Then we'll click on reset. No. Reset. And start. So then we'll click on reset. And then we'll click on run. And click on play. If we click the of box how many times as we can see we are going in minus so like this we will play it will be easier in to play 